We have some showers around for now, but that thunderstorm threat picks up after midnight. Really from 2 a.m. until daybreak is the highest chance to see that shower and thunderstorm activity. The cold front is going to interact with our warm air mass that's in place. Still 73 degrees at this late hour. Still a south southwest wind at 13 pulling in that mild air. It's also humid too. Our dew point temperature is 63. Look at the air behind the cold front. Dew point temperatures now in the mid 40s in Minneapolis, a 47 degree dew point temperature in Fargo. So that dry air is colliding with all of this moist and unstable air. And that's why we've seen a lot of thunderstorm activity in central Wisconsin. We have steady rain around some parts of town, especially as you get into Kane County. This is all starting to stretch into McHenry County and Lake. So what you see around Hampshire, that's moving to Algonquin, even Elgin, you're going to see the downpours increasing. But again, this is just that first batch of rain we've been dealing with this evening. I'm waiting on this second boundary to move in and it will and in our data coming in hour by hour in real time is showing that after 2 a.m. right through daybreak is going to be the best chance to have some gusty thunderstorms moving in because we have that drier air interacting with our more moist and warm atmosphere. So here's 2 a.m. Then as we go through 4 a.m. We'll see that line push through lingering in northwest Indiana at 6 a.m. It quickly moves out though and tomorrow is actually a dry day. So we are breezy and mild tonight. Here's a close look at that rain as it moves through. So as you can see, the line sort of breaks up, but it still could give us some gusty winds with these thunderstorms as they move through at 4 a.m. Hugging the lakefront, then closer to 6 a.m. Everything swinging to northwest Indiana and south of the Kankakee River Valley. And then by mid morning, most areas should be dry. And by the afternoon, sunshine returning to the forecast. So one more day of temperatures in the 80s. Then our next system, boy, this Cold fronts even stronger. Rain comes with it, but look at the drop in the temperature. We go from 83 tomorrow to 53 on Friday. Some areas near the lake will stay in the 40s with winds off the lake and rain, but we recover beautifully, Brad and Erica, for the holiday weekend. 75 degrees yeah. for Memorial Day. That is nice timing for our holiday. Thank you, Mary Kay.